Oh, I have a piece of glitter on my face that I'm never gonna be able to get off! <laughs> Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. So I'm very excited for today's video because we are going to be testing out the highly anticipated Tatcha Silk powder. We are going to be seeing how it does on dry skin. Is it going to replace my Laura Mercier? I also want to give a shout out to the headband I am wearing today. It is from a black creator. His name is Terrence. If you want to check him out, his website is Terrence Williams Designs. I will have it listed down below for you guys. So this is the Tatcha Translucent Radiant Setting Powder and the middle has like this little sifter where the powder comes out of. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it, but the design is very beautiful very Tatcha esque now I just want to say this video is not sponsored I know I haven't really done like a dedicated review on a product in a minute So let's go ahead put our foundation on we'll put some concealer on and get ready for this powder I'm gonna zoom you guys on in all right So let's go in and start hydrating our faces with a little bit of the milk vegan moisturizer I am almost out of this you guys. I really oh, it's like my favorite favorite moisturizer specifically for dry skin like to have underneath my foundation and if you're following me on TikTok then you already know how much I rave about this elf mint melt cooling face primer oh my god it's so good so you know once my skin is kind of absorbed the moisturizer that's a big part you want to make sure your skin is absorbing the moisturizer I'm gonna go in with two pumps this is what it looks like it's kind of like a cool jelly texture the foundation we're gonna be using today is one of my favorites are we shocked are we surprised she uses it in every tutorial the NARS soft matte complete foundation bitch I love this product so much I mean just look at how nice that freaking coverage is how could you not want to use this foundation you know and you really don't need a lot of it to like a little bit goes a long way and this Sigma brush just in case if anybody is interested is the F80 air flat kabuki I really need to do oh my god I need to clean my brushes it's been so long holy crap so for concealer today I want to use a concealer that I know is gonna perform well you know what I'm saying like I don't I'm not trying to change too much of my routine right now because these are products that I know work already really well for me so we're gonna make sure we use those to test out the powder this is the kimchi the most concealer really love this concealer a lot and I'm just going in and only putting it in the inner parts of my eye oh I have a piece of glitter on my face that I'm never gonna be able to get off <laughs> honestly props to artists who work with glitter a lot like y'all are the real ones taking my beauty blender actually no this is an elf camo sponge not a beauty blender and just blending it all out here is the moment of truth the moment we are testing the powder so let's go so I'm just going in and blending any creasing that may have formed you guys know I do this all the time and now I am just putting the powder all over where we had our concealer a little bit goes a long way especially if you do have dry skin let's get on top of the eye as well and this is what it looks like with powder so the powder feels really nice and light it definitely is translucent it didn't change much of the color at all I'm really liking it so far you know just off the bat of course we're gonna see how it layers with other makeup and I want to do a little bit of a wear test to really just see how it wears throughout the day as well so let's go in with our Marc Jacobs bronzer you guys know I use this all the time this is Tantastic I love this shade because it's a cool tone shade. I really, really, really love the way that like a cool tone shade looks with warm tone bronzer on top of it. You know what I'm saying? So let's add a little bit of a cream highlighter. I want to see how creams do on top of the powder as well. Statistically speaking, you're not supposed to put cream on top of powder, but I always say it's all about manipulating the formula. So I'm 
I'm gonna go in with the About Face Light Stick. This is Halsey's brand. And I did a huge review on my TikTok of Halsey's brand. So if you wanna go check it out, it's on my TikTok. Make sure you're following me there. I love it, I love it. I love cream products. My only thing about Tatcha is like, I know their price point can be astronomical to say the least. And for blush, we're gonna be using the MAC blush. This is an older blush that MAC put out. I don't even know if they're available anymore. This is the Glow Play blushes. It's kind of like a cream powder hybrid. So I'm just gonna use this fan brush and I'm gonna use it to apply right on top, just like so. And then I'm gonna take my little brush and kind of blend it a little bit better. I like to add a lot on first and then go in and kind of like clean it up. I add a little bit to the center of the nose too. I love doing that. Then I just take my other brush with no product on it and kind of just dilute the product. Make it look all nice, all nice. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Okay, we're looking pretty good here, pretty dewy. So to save a little bit of time, I'm going to do my mascara and lashes off camera and I will be back to show you guys the final result. All right, you guys, so this is what the powder is looking like so far. I'm honestly very in love with how it's feeling. I do wanna wear this for a little bit longer and do some check-ins on my iPhone in different lighting settings and stuff like that. That way you guys are kind of like getting what the powder and the texture of my face really looks like. I'm not noticing any crazy creasing or any weirdness going on with my foundation and everything really applied so beautifully beautifully on top of it. So I'm very happy with the way it's looking so far, but I'll keep y'all updated. All right, you guys, I am still in my beauty room. It's been a few hours, but really genuinely, barely any creasing going on. And I feel like the powder is looking pretty, pretty good still. So I'll show you in some different lighting, of course, but just a little quick check in with y'all. All right, you guys, I wanted to show you a little bit more of like realistic lighting. Obviously the lighting right now is coming from above. You know, with social media, sometimes there's so many smoothing filters. So I just want to like give you guys a look at some real texture and stuff with the powder but overall I really am liking how light it feels like it feels very airy it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't even really feel like I have a lot of foundation on in general so it's doing good so far. So we are in my kitchen. This is probably my best lighting in the house if I'm being completely honest. So here is a little up close look with the iPhone again. But honestly, this powder is holding up so insanely beautiful. And like I said, it's feeling really lightweight. Okay, you guys, it has been quite a few hours here. We're talking like six hours. I've been wearing my makeup. I gotta tell you, I am so obsessed with this powder. I absolutely think it will replace my Laura Mercier, hands down, 110%. God, I had to wear a mask, so it kind of messed up my nose a little bit, so don't mind my nose. My only thing is, like, I know Tatcha is a very, very bougie and expensive ass brand. Let's be honest, let's lay it all out there. Let me actually look up what this powder is going for. It's $48 and Laura Mercier is $39. So yes, there is a $10 difference there, but I genuinely thought this powder was gonna be like $60, $70. With that being said, I do really feel like this powder will replace my Laura Mercier. I think it is so comfortable on my eyes. Not only that, but I barely had any creasing like I'm looking up so that way you guys can kind of see I cannot attest to people who do have oily skin I would say definitely try to get maybe a sample size before you purchase the whole thing but for me and my dry skin I absolutely love this like I am completely blown away by this powder I also want to recommend like a more affordable setting powder that I think is awesome as well it's the ColourPop one and I think that that one's honestly a dupe for the Laura Mercier, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!